Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Daily EPL Talk. And uh, it's a very interesting day to be having this podcast because all the managerial merry-go-rounds have been completed. We know now which Premier League club is being managed by which particular manager as well as the qualifications of the World Cup have well not been completed but at least we know which are the teams going into the World Cup and uh, international break for good number of time now. Good period of time is over because uh, now the time starts where the Christmas, the festive period fixtures, the congested fixtures start and this is gonna be like the make or break for any club which is aspiring to continue to remain in the Premier League as well as have aspirations to be in the title race. European qualifications typically don't get decided up till Christmas. They last the entire season. But it's the relegation battle who will continue to remain in the relegation fight as well as who would be still be in the title race. Those are the things which get decided in this crucial Christmas period. So, what is our topic for the day? Well, the topic for our day is Dean Smith. He has taken over Norwich City and today in this podcast, we will be talking about exactly what Norwich City are getting with an experienced and dynamic manager like Dean Smith as well as what his challenges will be. But before we start, I would request if you can subscribe to our YouTube channel channel as well as like our facebook page as well as follow us on twitter and first and also lastly i also want to thank all of you twitter folks who have been very well responding on the polls that we have been conducting it gives us a very good insight into what you guys are thinking so please keep it coming because we would want to hear from you this channel is for you the fans of premier league all right so let's get started now uh what is the daily news today? Let's go with that first. So Norwich City, as we will talk about in detail, have uh, appointed Dean Smith. Rafinha reveals his admiration for Marcelo Bielsa. So even, and this is pretty interesting and why we have captured this is because Marcelo Bielsa, well, this season has not been phenomenal for Leeds United, but Imagine the two sides of the coin. There is one side of the coin, which is Manchester United, where the players are unhappy. They are blaming the coach. They are left and right after the coach in terms of his tactical skills, in terms of his ability to organize the team, to manage the egos. And on the other side, there is Marcelo Bielsa, who, despite the fact that he's having a star-studded team with players like Dan James, like Rafinha, is still getting the plaudits. That's, That's the kind of charisma that he carries. And a unfortunate news for Liverpool where they could be without Mane, Firmino and many more injured folks against Arsenal. So it could be that the stars are all aligning up for Mikel Arteta at the moment because uh, Arsenal are uh, on the high. They have, uh, apart from their uh, disastrous first few weeks of the Premier League season, they have been really on the up. So... And Liverpool, well, uh, they have been leaking some goals and, uh, man, they need to do something about it. And finally, Tino Levamento from Southampton, he continues to get plotted. So the fullback from Chelsea now gets some praises from Theo Walcott as well. He probably is the rising star of Premier League. He, as well as Conor Gallagher, have actually lighted up the Premier League this season. So let's see what happens in the upcoming weeks with them. All right, so that's our topic for the day. Dean Smith, Norwich City rescue mission. Yes, will he be able to rescue Norwich City? And that's what we want to talk about. Will he actually get to rescue or will he be a disaster at Norwich City as Daniel Farr couldn't do anything in terms of lifting them up? So that's going to be our topic. And before we start, I want to quickly go back to the season before, the season when both Aston Villa and Norwich City were in the Premier League and uh, they were trying to be on the next se- they were trying to be in the next season as well and uh, then there was a sudden lockdown now why am i telling you all this i'm telling you all this because at that moment both aston villa as well as norwich city were locked in a relegation fight but the way they came out from the lockdown uh, tells exactly what dean smith is capable of now in the lockdown period as we got to know 
there was a work, a specific detailed work that was done by Dean Smith to tighten up the whole team and improve their defending, not only uh, in, in terms of shipping the goals, but also in terms of being harder to beat. So those are the things which uh, Dean Smith did. Not, he organized the Zoom sessions where he split the sp squad into mini groups. He heard from every player. He tasked them of watching the videos and figuring out exactly what they can do better. And compare that with Norwich City. What did Norwich do after the lockdown? Well, they just went down like a whimper. They lost all the nine games and scored only once to finish at the bottom of the league and just went out. Uh, whereas Villa, who were only four points and five goals better off than Norwich before the lockdown during that suspension period, three-month suspension period, they earned eight points from their final four games. And that really was what led them to uh, nail bite in finger, stay in Premier League for another season. And of course, we know that next season they excelled. They did pretty well compared to their expectations. And then they lost Jack Grealish this season. And of course, rest is history on what happened in, at Aston Villa. So the reason why I'm telling you all this is because Dean Smith has been in this kind of fight before. He has the experience of dragging and pulling out a club from such positions. Something which comparatively Norwich City could not do last time. So, first of all, we want to start off, of course, with the fixtures. That's the most important thing. Like, what does Dean Smith have in hand when he comes into the matches? Well, it's a pretty easy fixture on paper. When I say easy, it doesn't mean easy. No, no fixture is easy in English Premier League, whether it's for the top club or whether it's for the bottom club. But what is easy is that they don't have any top six clubs right now to work with. They have Southampton, they have Wolves, they have Newcastle, Tottenham, which again are, uh, as we have heard today morning, Christian Romero may be out injured. So that's bad news for Tottenham again. And then in December, they have Norwich City and, sorry, uh, Man United and Aston Villa, of course. That's going to be interesting for Dean Smith where he's back on December 14th to Aston Villa. And then West Ham and Arsenal. So kind of like a mixed bag for Dean Smith as he takes his Norwich City to relegation fight. And uh, that's still not that bad in terms of, you know, I would say that uh, the fixtures aren't bad at all. Now, what exactly does Dean Smith do? at uh, Norwich City. Well, there are a few things that uh, he definitely needs to get done. One is the confidence in the squad. He needs to get the youngsters to start believing again that despite the supporters' criticism and the social media, he, he can actually come up and say that he trusts the players. He can actually say that, you know, his his whole appreciation of family values and staff and everybody will actually make it better for Norwich City youngsters to thrive but it's obviously going to take a little bit more than that his ability to develop the young players his other ability is also to seek advice now one thing that uh, he's not afraid of is he seeking advice he will phone the managers he will ask for the tips he will ask former players for help and bring on anyone and everyone those around him to make the environment to be successful so that's 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 gonna be something which will help and he has an ability to develop players i mean if we talk about players like Ezri Konsa, Said Beren Rama, Ole Watkins, Neil Mope who is now playing in what Brighton these are all players who have been developed by Dean Smith so he knows how to develop the players but when we say there is a mixed bag of fixtures and there is a whole uh confidence issue in the squad right now what are the challenges that he has ahead well the challenges are a few as well and the biggest one of them is the style of play we know that Norwich City also like to play on the front foot as an attacking team but they never really were able to build anything out of those attacks so the interesting part is Dean Smith also plays attacking and possession based football so will exactly Skip and Bundia be missed that's what Dean Smith has to overcome because even though he is attacking and possession based, does he have the right qualities of the players that uh, will be able to help him succeed with that kind of play or will he have to change? That's um, that's going to be a challenge for him. The other challenge for him is really the perception. Now, we all know that Norwich City were trying to get Frank Lampard's services. He never came. So it's really uh, a second choice Dean Smith that has come in. So 
he will be aware the fans are obviously aware and social media is aware so perception plays a lot a big role like for example in rafa benitez's case the fact that uh, he had plied his trades with uh, with liverpool and uh, he was not the first choice so and he was just a replacement of carlo ancelotti so that basically was the reason why he is always under the radar and same thing will happen with dean smith as well so perception will be a big issue relegation competitions we all know that there is a big competition right now in relegation burnley is in the fight newcastle is in the fight obviously norwich city is there and then obviously we have leeds as well but all of these other clubs that we are just talking about are clubs who have managers who have sat there for a while they know what exactly is the identity of the club but or the way they play the players but uh, unfortunately same is not the case with norwich and the fact that newcastle will invest in january and even though right now they are sitting in 19th place they will be the ones who will be uh, you know spending money to get them back from a relegation fight so what really makes them compete against that makes them compete against the likes of burnley who have a very stable sean dyche or marcelo bielsa's leeds or even uh, you know uh, other clubs uh, which which basically like wolves which have very stable uh, manager at the moment of course watford is somebody whom we can think of but again uh, they also have a stable a very world renowned manager like claudio ranieri so those really are the challenges for uh, that uh, are um, that are uh, going to be faced by dean smith and of course finally we want to talk about what twitter is saying right so there are these fan tweets which i obviously talk about the fact that uh, there are still 50 50 chances of uh, you know uh, a fan base is really divided whether it's going to be uh, whether dean fark uh, uh, daniel fark or dean smith they are the right uh, substitutes of each they are substitutes of each other or not or they are just one of the same kinds and uh, some of the norwich fans are really happy that frank lampard did not come because they know that that will be a very interim choice and frank lampard may just come up with his own illusions whereas dean smith comes with the grit that he has his reputation on the line and he needs to keep norwich city in the premier league for next season to save his reputation so those are really the kind of things which twitter is talking about and uh, finally i end this podcast by saying how did you find it if you have any feedback do let us know and by the way the twitter is uh, 60 40 in favor of uh, dean smith doing a good job typically twitter is a little optimistic in terms of what they give as a reaction so when we say 60 40 i would still not consider that as a outright yes i would still say that it's a pretty risky appointment to have dean smith take over uh, norwich city but again we are not the crystal ball let's see uh, it's all down to the manager the players and the performance on the pitch but do let us know how you found this podcast and uh, like subscribe again subscribe to our youtube channel we'll continue to give you more videos and follow us on twitter as well as like our facebook page thank you and have a good one